So my name is Mercy. <coughs> Mercy Ngethe. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I'm a grandma too. And uh, I joined TKC December 2020. I think many of us joined 2021. And so they refer to me as the firstborn because I was the first one to sign up. And the circumstances under which I signed up are quite interesting. I was far away from home in a very distressful season of my life. Um, I was away in India with a sick child, but this is an adult child, but children are children until the Lord calls us home. So my uh, firstborn uh, was unwell. She had a uh, terrible cancer diagnosis from the doctors. And uh, uh, while I was away, I very interesting things happened. Um, I had been following Coach Irene and Coach Betty online for that year as we were stuck in the houses. And they had, you know, interesting courses that they did. Some were about money. Some of you can remember MMM. And many others. They did this series of talks. And then in December, they launched a mini bonus course and they called it the spiritual intelligence course and I signed up quickly uh, because my only assignment at the time was caregiving I had lots of time so between the hospital visits the sitting in the waiting area I had time to attend to this thing but something happened while I was doing the spiritual intelligence course uh, the book that was the recommended reading was what we've just finished doing in the book club, which was um, rediscovering the kingdom of God. And because of a religious background, I had had a blockage when it comes to speaking in tongues, the way it was taught. It's not supposed to be spoken in public um, and many other religious things I won't bring here. And so when I read that book, something, a penny dropped and um, it changed my prayer life. Because one day in a deep, deep season of distress, I had to take a walk out of the house and um, just go and pray. And I used to go and walk either in the parking or in the rooftop because unlike us here who are very blessed with green gardens, our green garden was on top of a roof in an apartment where we lived. And so as I was there uh, walking up and down, I thank God for masks. I just broke out and started praying in tongues. And, and it went on for a long, long time. But by the time I went back to the house, I found that my daughter had settled down a bit and she had fallen asleep. So my journey with TKC has been quite interesting. In the first year, we did Genesis, which is what we've just concluded. And we had some fun moments. And if I may just share some, I remember when Abraham died, there was so much silence. So I asked, did I miss the brief? Are we mourning? And you know, everybody burst out into laughter, but I was serious. Nobody was talking, you know. And then I remember uh, uh, Jacob, when he died, uh, they mourned him for 40 days, you know, 40 days of embalming and some other 70 days for something. And they wailed out loud. And I said, aha. I finally understood uh, Disco Matanga. This must have been where it started, <laughs> you know? And so we had some really great moments there, you know, just studying um, Genesis. We did Exodus. Uh, but even more interesting were the seminars. We did, uh, I remember one particular one that had Dr. Shana. And the thing I'll never forget, because I don't remember much uh, about the gentleman who spoke to us about working online, but I remember one thing about Dr. Shana. She was in an industry that was dominated by men, but what made her stand out of the crowd as a woman was her spirit of excellence. And that is what I have carried since then. So I have aspired that everything I do, I would do with a spirit of excellence. Um, and many other things have happened. I want to thank God uh, for Coach Irene for just obeying um, 
because she could have chosen not to obey uh, and not to ask people for money lest she's judged and in those days we were paying a registration fee and a monthly fee. If you joined TKC last year where you were paying 5,000, you got a free gift. Please clap for the coach. Okay? She gave you a free gift. We paid and then somewhere along the line somebody sponsored and we got a few, you know, free months and eventually uh, it turned to, to this uh, platform where we were paying 5,000. It's unbelievable for what we have been getting in the seasons. And this particular um, year, 2022-2023, uh, 2020, the thing that I will take home and uh, still working on for a very long time is the Soul Health Seminar. That was very deep for me because um, in one, along the journey, I took a purpose class. And it, when I was told to define my life, the one thing that, the, when I connected the dots, the one thing that was connecting was loss. I had suffered so much loss. And so when the soul health seminar came, it was for me, I don't know about you, because I started to make sense of the losses and to heal from the losses. It's a long journey, it's a work in progress, but I thank God that I made the decision to take the journey. Thank you very much. I trust that you'll enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much, Mercy, uh, for being the first one on board and having, and you know, as a first one, you have set for us high standards uh, just by the way you carry yourself, your attitude, what you teach us, and we truly, truly honor you.